Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grant and insert permission on a table or multiple tables to a user in MariaDB. So let's connect to the MariaDB first by using our user root. U root p provide the password and now we are connected to MariaDB. Show databases will give us the list of the databases. We have a database here I call HR the other one is called the tech brothers I would like to see the list of the users because I want to create one of the user called TB but before I create it I want to see if it is already there or not the TB user is not there so that's good okay we can start from fresh and we say create user TB and then localhost and identified by password so one two three is my password for TB user Okay, now we would like to provide a permission on uh, there is one table in HR uh, uh, database uh, and I would like to provide insert statement or insert the permission uh, to user TB. So this is how I'm going to go with that. So first of all, uh, let's say user HR. So we see HR show tables. It will show us all the tables. Uh, there is only one table uh, uh, show tables and uh, what happened here we we don't have any actual table so we can go ahead and create a table so create a table let's say we'll call it a department and id integer name d name so let's say department name what's your hundred so now the table is created and uh, uh, we say show tables and that should show us uh, the department of table great now to provide insert uh, the permission on uh, this table, we'll say grant insert, uh, and uh, then we have to say HR dot department, and uh, to who? So we'll say to TB and the user like at localhost. This is it. So you have error in uh, okay grant fine. So we were supposed to say grant insert on. So that's the. The thing we missed we missed on here so we always say grant then say insert and then we say on and then provide our table or list of tables here and then we say to and username we should be good now and uh, we can actually check the permissions are provided to hr and uh, to tb user or not by using show grants and uh, say grants for and then we provide the user name here it should show us uh, the permission and this user has uh, and you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, insert permissions uh, for TB user uh, on a department table in HR database. Uh, let's say now we would like to provide all the permissions uh, uh, on uh, all the tables in us uh, on the tech browsers uh, tables, uh, and we would like to provide insert uh, permissions. Uh, we are gonna go something like this: uh, say insert on tech browsers dot asterisk. That means on all tables in the tech browsers database. Uh, to who? to tb localhost and we are all good here so we can see the permissions uh, now by using show, gr show grants uh, so you can see that uh, now tb user has a uh, permission on tech browsers uh, on all the tables uh, and uh, that's insert uh, permission it has uh, the same way it has a uh, insert permission on department table in hr database uh, great we can exit from here now and we can log in uh, with our user tb to test out everything is working fine uh, uh, let me provide the password and now say show databases uh, so it should show us uh, the databases on which it has permission so it has hr permission and it has a uh, some permission on the uh, tech browsers uh, tables so by uh, providing insert uh, permission uh, it can see these uh, Two uh, databases. One of the basic thing we missed here, we did not provide uh, the select statement. Uh, so if I will go back here, so if I will say uh, use HR, and uh, if I'll say select asterisk from uh, uh, department, uh, and if you guys remember that, uh, that's the table we have created. So we don't have insert uh, select statement uh, permission, so we can't see the data. But we know that we did create the table by ourselves. We know that we have insert permission. So we say insert into uh, department and then we had ID. So uh, and the department name, I'm going to go ahead and directly provide the values. So one and then I will say uh, my first value. Okay, that should work. 
now one row is affected we cannot see the data because we do not have a permission we did not provide select permission on hr.department table so we exit from here come back with our root user so we can see if the data is inserted correctly and uh, we can also provide uh, then select statement uh, uh, wrong password let me provide the right password here and now if we say select asterisk from asterisk from hr dot department and it should show us the data remember this is the value we inserted in a department table by using our user tb so that's the, the syntax is very easy you're gonna go ahead and say um that's a, one of the um, statement you will use you will say grant insert on and then if it is single table you would provide the database name dot uh, data table name if it is all tables in that database you will say database dot asterisk then you will say two and then you have to provide the user thanks very much for watching this video and i hope you learned something out of this i will see you guys in next video